My 23F friend 23F sent nudes to my husband 31M and he rejected her but never told me anything. When we were in our senior year of high school he 31M was our substitute teacher and obviously all the girls liked him because he was the only young teacher we had. And I'd 23F be lying if I said that no one tried to flirt with him, because we all did at the time, but he was always very professional and never tried anything with any of us. He and I met again a year after my graduation and that's when we started dating, and at first my friend 23F used to joke saying things like that I was very lucky to have what everyone wanted in high school. And at first it was funny because things between my husband and I weren't that serious, but then our relationship became like really really serious and I didn't like those jokes anymore and I let her know, and she stopped. And for years she never did those kinds of jokes again, she got a boyfriend too so I thought all those things she said were part of the past. But it was not like that. A few days ago I was taking pictures of our baby and our dogs with my husband's phone since his phone is a thousand times better than mine. And at that moment he received a DM from an anonymous Instagram account. So I opened and I didn't like what I saw at all. Because it was a video of my friend touching herself. At first I was too naive and thought well maybe she sent it to the wrong person. But then she said something like she was mad that he blocked her main account, and asked him if he liked the other videos, which means that she sent him other videos from her main account, so I found the chat and yes, he had blocked her but the chat was still there, which means he can see those pics and videos whenever he wants and just thinking about it makes me feel really sick. In that chat she confessed that she has always been in love with him and that her boyfriend doesn't satisfy her because she can only think about him and that she knows that lately he's not having much fun and if he wants she can give him a hand without anyone knowing. And that hurt me so much, because a few weeks ago we talked about how I felt ashamed of having S time again because I gave birth two months ago and that I feel insecure about my body. But I told her that as good friends that I thought we were because I expected her to give me advice or something, I don't know, I didn't expect her to try to duck my husband. And the only thing my husband told her was that she was crazy and that he was going to show me that chat so that I can see who she really is and then he blocked her. But it's been a few days and he never showed me those chats and that makes me think that maybe he liked those pics and videos, so I confronted him. And he told me that he doesn't even care about her and that he didn't tell me anything about those messages because he didn't know how to tell me and because he thought that finding out about that could have been bad for me I had a really bad time during my pregnancy and he has been very concerned about my health ever since, so that's why he said that. And he told me that's why he locked himself in his office every time she came to visit us, because she makes him feel uncomfortable. Then I asked him if he thinks our S time life is boring and he said no, that he is satisfied and that he didn't mind not having S time for weeks because when we had S time again it felt like the first time, and hearing that was really nice, but I can't stop thinking about why he didn't delete the chat, he says it was so he could show me when he's ready, but I don't know. Now we are on vacation but all I can do is think about that. Even every time we have S time I think that maybe I'm not enough and that's why he didn't delete that chat, to see her pics and videos. And he noticed that so he told me a thousand times that he thinks I'm hot and that he only thinks of me when we have S time and that he only saw those pics and videos when he opened the chat the first time, and that he never saw them again. He even told me that the only time he ever masturbated looking at someone's pictures was looking at pictures of me from when I was pregnant, and he swore he doesn't even think my so-called friend is attractive, and I want to believe him but at the same time I feel confused, we've been together for 5 years and I never felt that way, and I don't know what to do to stop feeling that way, maybe it's the hormones I don't know, but I feel so sad and so bad about myself. And I would like to know how I could deal with this? Update, update. My 23F friend 23F sent nudes to my husband 31M and he rejected her but never told me anything. Original post. When I posted that, I hadn't talked to my friend yet, I wasn't going to confront her on the phone, we had to have a face to face talk. So when I got back from my trip two days ago I decided to go to her house, and I told her everything I saw and of course she made up a thousand excuses. And being honest that pissed me off because she was playing the victim, and I wasn't going to believe that s it, so I told her to stop lying but she kept lying and lying and she was getting on my nerves, so I started crying because it hurt me to see how she was lying like we hadn't been best friends for years. And apparently that made her mad, because she started saying so many horrible things that I couldn't even believe she was saying that. She said that she always got what she wanted and that she couldn't understand how someone like me could get what she wanted so much, 
and even tried to make me look like the bad guy and accused me of harassing my husband in the past. She says that because I went to the same college where he was doing his PhD, but I didn't know that because I never had contact with him, it was a coincidence. And she knows that perfectly well but she kept saying things like that anyway. She told me that I hooked up with him because I wanted to prove to her that I can also get what I want. But that's not true, I never planned any of this, it just happened, but according to her I'm the psychopath who harassed him and trapped him with a baby that he didn't want. Which is also a lie because our baby was planned and she knows that too, so I don't know why she was saying those things. It's like she's gone crazy or something. What hurts the most is that it is as if she thinks that our years of friendship were just a competition. A competition about who was the prettiest but I always knew this because she was always the prettiest and I was her shadow but I was fine with that the most intelligent, the most successful with men, etc. But for me our friendship was more than that, I really loved her and I would never have thought that everything would end like this, because I trusted her with my whole life. She was there when I took my pregnancy test, when I was pregnant, and even when my daughter was born, and those moments were really important in my life and she knew it. So I don't know what happened to her reacting like this she is acting like a psycho and it honestly scares me. If my husband didn't reject her, was she going to sleep with him while pretending to be my friend? Just thinking about it makes me feel sick to my stomach. I told her that now she is dead to me and she didn't even care, she kept trying to make me feel bad, and of course I left, I didn't want to listen to her. I just want everything that happened to be a dream, but since it isn't, I guess from now on I'll have to learn to live without her. But that's my therapist's business, not Reddit's. TL, doctor, I talked to my friend, she made excuses and said horrible things about me and we fought, and I told her that from now on she is dead to me. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, she sounds like the kind of person that changes to fit the situation first lying, then excuses, then accusations. Next comes the apologetic phase if she really wants to regain your friendship or feels there is anything to gain even at your loss again. I recommend declining and putting your foot down and saying absolutely not and don't let her back in your life. You sound hesitant about letting it end at the end of your post, and for your future, I hope that becomes a firm I am better off now without her. Good luck. Redditor too, she sounds like such a essity person, I'm sorry you had to deal with someone like her. The way she reacted shows how guilty yet manipulative and disrespectful she is. She is too much of a coward to own up to her mistakes. I would do your best to forget about her, and the situation entirely. Reading your original post, it seems like you lucked out on a very loyal, lovely and caring husband. Although he didn't tell you about it, I think that stems from not wanting to hurt you with how your pregnancy went, and he did his best to cut her out in the meantime blocking, leaving the room, etc. and was very honest when you brought it up. Keep your head up, find some better friends and enjoy your family.